Hey, welcome back everybody to our Impulse Time Production. Today I'm back here with you with another Trails in the Sky. Um, it's actually been since last night since I've recorded it. When I just load it into the, um, to the game. Let me turn my... Hello? Now? C can I hear myself now? Is it my mic? No? Okay. I can't quite hear myself as loud as I wish I could, but, uh, that will be fine. Um, last time we were here and we were talking to the student... To go somewhere. Where are we going? Uh. Okay, so we gotta run back to the other town. Yeah, it'll be good. I don't need no goods. In fact, I'll have a lot of mirror anyway. See me running at the speed of sound. Places gonna follow my rainbow. Copyrighted song all day and night. Gonna get in trouble singing shit I shouldn't be. Ah, I love the music in this game. So peaceful. So it was a. Uh... Hi there. I'm gonna bother with you. So it was a. Uh... Working on that project yesterday that I mentioned in the last episode. Oh, someone messaged me. Let's see what it says. Eh, it's just idiots being idiots. Um, and learned quite a few interesting things. Um, mainly so with the project we're doing, there's a lot of coding to do. Is what it is. And yesterday I had to learn. So I wanted to do an if then statement, but there is no way to do an if then statement the way I want to. Like if then statements exist, but you can't just do them outright. You've got to um, kind of program them a special way. And what it is, is say uh, you use what's called a label to do it with what we're using. So I have to use a. Uh, um, pretty much what it is is uh, if you if you give this response then do this and I wanted it to loop back around with certain responses so it would go back and ask a question again and just keep revolving instead of it just being all the questions are in the same order change the order based off of what questions are done kind of deal so the if then statements I had to do had to involve using a label so I did label return and then did a jump to label uh, return command after after answer to then change where the path would take you pretty much um, in the coding I mean so a pretty interesting little thing um, fun to learn Ooh. It's almost noon already no he crossed the drawbridge we can't get to him in time now We were too close. Yes, why up of now of all times? But me and Alex, we're both enjoying the project. We're um, both learning new things, both uh, exploring what can and cannot be done, the possibilities, and trying to push the limitations of what is possible with what we are doing. Kind of do it, which I mean, that's something I like to do as it is, and uh, he also kind of enjoys pushing limitations, when, especially when it comes to software. We like to push to see what it takes to uh, to break everything. So that's kind of what we're working on. I'm still not really telling y'all um, anything about it. Um, I'm hoping once we get a little bit farther along, we'll be able to um, come up with a uh, preview in a way. Are you still doing tours? Man, you haven't finished the tour from the other day? This was like two days ago, man. Come on. Uh, I need to find a boat. Where does one find a boat? Probably down by the water. Of all places. Not what I meant to do. That was transition. I did not want to transition there. Right, so let's go up here. By the water. Boat! I can't use the boat. Fisherman's gone. I swore there was a fisherman there before. Let 
Oh well. It's the airport. It's the airport. It's the, uh... Eh. I need to find a boat. Um... The bar. The bar's got a lot of entrances. Huh. like that idea. I like this idea. Boat. Hey, shit down here. Come on. Um... Did it maybe tell me and I'm just blind or stupid? Uh, seems there's a rental boat behind the hotel. If we could just borrow it, then maybe. So that's the hotel. What I saw was right there. It's a rental boat behind the hotel, though. Yes, we need a boat. Give me the boat. Get in the boat. Oh, so many people won't know that reference. It's not even a new reference. It's actually quite an old reference, but still. It's said behind the hotel. I can't get behind the hotel. It's the problem. Here in some in the boat, in the boat, and get in that boat. Uh, I want to get in behind the hotel. How do I get down there? Must be in the basement. Check the basement. Yeah, yeah, that definitely looks like a basement floor item. Definitely some. I don't know what this room looks like. It looks like that. How about this one? This is where we were. I guess I did have a window. I just couldn't see it. Alright. See? There's my window. I did have a window. Just a really shitty window. Get in the boat. Let me in the boat. I need to get in the boat. Callum, or whatever his name is. Clam. Clem. It's, uh. It's not going to make it very good. I mean, I could just wait a little bit, and the bridge will go down. I forget how long it's up. It's like up for like an hour, possibly. Which would be quite a long time. Oh, he isn't going to drive us so we can take his boat back? Of course he's not. I couldn't have just steal the paddle boat. Bird. Bird. I like birds. Uh, what's going on? <sighs> Let's go. Yo, him. Oh, head out. Oh, not this building. It is this building. Not gonna let you get away with it, huh? Little punk talking about. This is no place for little kids. No, it's not. Gotta go home and get back to sucking on mama's tit. Gosh darn. Yeah, the wrong thing to say to an orphan buddy. Uh, what, Alex? Oh, good. Good, good, good. 
Good to know Alex thinks. Two blank cartridges. Why, Alex? I'm not even gonna. Not even gonna worry about it. be a nice little thing to have working Alex I, I'm not bad at coding but I'm not that not I'm not a perfect coder Alex you saw me sit there and struggle how to unbrick what I broke and then fix what you bricked as well because I good at bricking stuff bricking is a big deal especially in the project we're having almost every change we make will at least break something once I gotta be careful with uh, what I do because I could end up messing all kinds of stuff up Oh, she's gonna fight. Will this be the first time I see her fight? I think all I've ever seen her do is heal. <laughs> oh, why do y'all get to go first? They're all about the same. I'm going to attack the <laughs> What do you actually have? Tier... Tira. Better healing, actually. Even better healing. This is uh, area heal, so that's actually good. They're actually pretty good. I could actually fully heal my entire party with that. That one's not bad either. Yeah. What level are you? Like, holy crap. That's it. Hellgate? I don't want to see Hellgate. Yeah. Yeah.
go ahead and kill him anyway. Did, did he just heal somebody? I want to see Stone Impact now. I like this one better. That heal is so bad now is the problem. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it didn't hit me, luckily. Kill that one. Is. Oh, that's a single. That was an area. Stone impact still. That's a full heal. Okay. Gosh darn it. Damn it. Out that guy. Kill this guy. Oh, stop getting their asses up. No. Kill them. Go ahead and kill them. What does your super do? Now, light of the heavens, heal these battered wings. Oh. Radiant flash. You are by far a healer I would love to have. It doesn't matter who you hit. That's that then. Let's move out. That's just only level 17, so that wasn't that bad. You guys are some kind of monsters. Oh yeah, Estelle is definitely a monster, alright. I would agree with that. Yeah? Apparently the guy who's still beating the crap out of you.
I hear Elizabeth in the background yelling. Don't know what over. Yeah, I, I would I would agree that we probably need to leave. She's gonna start popping people. So I'm plugging up my Game Boy while I'm thinking about it. I think it's gonna charge on it. Oh, it is they stop charging, so it's probably go full charge on it already. Yeah. I would say it does. Ah, okay, just put it back there. I'll grab it later. Yes, Campus Festival. I want to go to the Campus Festival. I wonder what that's all about. Where were you? What is she yelling about? Give me just a second. Alright, I'm back. I think I'm just readjusting all my stuff. And to get up, had to uncover. Come on. Arrgh. No real good way to do this and have everything where I could reach it. And not uh, be all kinds of messed up. And also not call so much static that it makes my mic pop. Alright. No, why would we think that? You're just a kid. <sighs> my foot hurts, my ankle hurts. Everything's uncomfortable. I need to shave because it's starting to itch. Come on, it's only the first one of the day and I'm already tired. How am I tired? This game is amazing. I love this game. At least I'm enjoying it a lot.
Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. the typical only you could do it kind of thing. I mean, that ain't nothing special, sure. I think when I'm done with this conversation, I'm going to go to the Orbital Factory. Hey there, Moon Moon, what you doing? Don't you bite my toes. I'll pet you, don't worry. I'm petting you with my toes. Good kiki. So, been uh, playing a lot of Guild Wars lately. I mean, I guess I've always playing Guild Wars, but still. Um, I've... What, Moon Moon? What is it? Don't do it. I see you. I s yep, I knew you was going to jump up here. We'll go lay down. Lay down. There you go. So, in uh, Guild Wars, I've been uh, been doing a lot of PvP, but that's really for the Astral Claim and for uh, the rewards that you obtain with it. And I was doing it for quite some time for, um, for, um, the map, um, rewards for a uh, season three maps i've done i've actually completed all of them now i've actually done so much pvp i've uh, completed just about everything i can actually do that i'm wanting to do in it um the reason i'm doing it is i'm trying to build another legendary trinket um called aurora it's not hard it's just a lot of stuff to do oh good i'll get the walk now know where to set my uh my thing i'm fidgeting with Cats in the way. I need an orbital factory. Where? Out of my way. Where's the orbital factory? What are you? You're the chapel. Still not really sure what the chapel's for. You are the bracer guild. Orbit factory. Yay. I need to talk to you. Estelle. How much does that cost? Except, uh, oh, I see. I don't have enough for that. I don't have enough for that one. I really need more green. That's what I need. I can worry about opening theirs. Oh, she's got a maxed out orbital. Or orbment. So three blues. Quartz. And don't want to trade Septo for Mira. Don't want to trade Septo. I want to get quartz. I want to get a Septo. So I think I actually do that in here, or mint. It's still, yeah, okay, I see up there. So I've only got one blue. That gives me earth. Eagle eye, what does that actually give me? We're farther distance. What does it actually give me? I don't really hardly ever use the wind one either, honestly. It's, it's earth and water that I'm needing to, that I'm wanting to use. The wind, uh... Like they're helped with preventing enemy arts. It's space elemental, which is... I can, I can see enemies from farther away. Yeah, that makes sense, okay. I am going to actually take this out. So I won't. Not that. Modify. <coughs> ah. Oh wow, that's expensive. Don't have enough for that at all. Come on. Hmm. Do I have two in my inventory? Do 
I don't have two in my inventory. I don't have any more in my inventory. Quartz. <laughs> really wish I had enough for that. Because I would actually use that more. ATS, I forget what ATS is. Um, let's see if we can find it in the, in the book. No. Diamond dust? Ooh. Those are for non healing by the looks of it. Shadow spear? These are the heal ones. It says it requires four to get the next one, six for the third. And of course, the law would be even better because those are area. Okay, so HP one is only worth one. I would either need HP 2 or HP 3. Mind? Because there's only a mind 1 in there, unfortunately. So. Oops. I would, I would be able to get it anyway if I did. Because I don't have enough blue mirror. I mirror septum. Okay. Uh, until then, I'm going to go ahead and call this one. Hope y'all are enjoying this, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.